So this is the Bivy tour here at Darley Moor. So it's day one effectively. Well, for me anyway, I came up early. I always like to come up early to avoid the traffic and get set up. Uh, we've got Shelley actually, who is off on a lesson. And you may be able to see behind me, it's just coming into shot now. The hangar is pretty much full of Bivy Bees, PBs, Adams. There is a load of flex wings over there, um, which have just flown in. A couple of chasers have just flown in this morning. Um, and we're just getting ready for everyone to come in. The, the camping field's all been cut uh, and it should be a really, really good weekend. So effectively, this is the intro to the video. Hopefully I'll give you a bit of a flavour of what's gone in this weekend. It's looking good today. We may go off for a bit of a fly just to check the local area out. But as people know, I love coming up to Darley Moor. They're so friendly here and so welcoming. And that's why I keep coming back. Micro avionics. Cool. Edition on. Clip up. Feels on sufficient for at least two and a half hours. Trimmer is not fixed. Awareness is runway one nine, um, and temps are on the climb, which is good. Right, so this is the flight I meant to do the other day, but everything went wrong. Um, and uh, yeah, just basically on the back track now, so on a back track taxi on the taxiway to uh, depart Darley Moor. Ben Ashman is uh, in the air already. Temps are definitely good. T wave. Okay, trim is fixed. Wind and weather is suitable. Awareness on a runway 19, I can't see anything on final, it's going to be forward. Uh, Pfizer is down and locked, eventualities are landed with many options. Uh, and engine temps are good. Darling Moor traffic from Gulf, Foxtrot, Whiskey Lima, Romeo, lining up runway 19 for immediate departure, Darling Moor. Hello, the gentleman behind me, Paul. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, so there's again more more uh, attendees at the Bivy Tour, though you're actually based here at Darling Moor, aren't you? That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah I learned so. to fly here about two years ago and I've been here ever since. So. Yeah. Yeah. So Paul was in a video with me, I think it was the one where we uh, had some fun over Castleton Water. Castington. Castington, sorry, I keep getting chastised for that, I'm too southern for my own good. And uh, and you're just rigging the Bivy Bee, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, so uh, there's a few of us again all prepped today, uh, and going to go off for a bumble later on today. So, uh, looking forward to it? Oh, I can't wait, I hope the weather's looking okay. Hopefully it should stay like this, certainly for today. And be nice if he stays like this for the weekend. So yeah, no, I'm looking forward for a uh, for a swarm of us going for a bumble. For a swarm, a swarm, a swarm. That'll be a new term. I think Mark will like that one. So uh, yeah, more fun and games at the Bivy Tour. So, let's go. Guys, neutral coming forward on the bar. Temps are good. Just let it climb away naturally. So there appears to be another video with Ben Ashman in it and me flying with him. So I'm not going to apologise because <laughs> I love it. I love just flying with other people. As you know from the video with Paul, Bat Paul earlier. But Ben is on a different machine to me. He is on the complete Adam machine. So it's an Adam wing with the Adam trike with Retrex. Parkour in your two o'clock. <laughs> I think he's a bit cold. I think Mr. Ashman is a bit cold. I 
I was always told a long, long time ago, always dressed in black. Oh, be quiet, please, on the radio. I was always told by uh, by flyers, paramotoring, paragliding, always dress for cloud base. Even if you're sweating on the ground, you'll never be cold in the air. The joys of Darley Moor. It seems to be fairly, fairly central to the mid, uh, to the Midlands, and uh, and we've got Ian and Mick here, who've actually flown in today. And why have you actually come to Darley Moor today? We've just come down for the fly in today, down down from Sandtoft. Yeah. Um, fantastic airfield. Been in a few times just recently, and uh, yeah, love it down here. Yeah. And uh, and basically the weather's good today, isn't it? The weather's good today. Yeah. 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 And they've yeah, come in as lovely, lovely ninja. They look like custom uh, seatbelts. They are, yeah. I came down and got them fitted about uh, three or four weeks ago. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like them uh, seatbelts. Yeah. Well, it seems that Darling Moor is a very friendly place. So, uh, and hopefully the weekend's just going to be get better and better. Oh, it's quite nice not actually having any type of uh, specific objective other than just to go up and fly around the local area. Currently sitting at four litres an hour, bimbling along, bumbling along, going for a bumble. I don't think two constitutes a swarm, though. So anyway, this is a little bit of in-flight entertainment, and hopefully most of the video will be showing you about the joys of the flying community that uh, Darley Moore of... Um, Agreed to host this event for the say the sub 70 Bibby tour, um, and I really hope that it brings people into the micro lighting world. Um, sub 70 is is that is it's almost that gateway to uh, to other things, and it certainly has uh, meant a lot to me um, to enable me to go from sub 70, you know, no no license requirements into gaining my uh, my MPPL um, that has allowed me to do so much more um, only because for me I wanted to go further than the, than the fuel quantities that Sub-70 would allow me to do yes you can plan fuel and, and other bits and pieces but I like to be as self-contained as possible um, but, uh, but long or short of it Sub-70 for me has, been, has, has transformed my flying as you would have seen in other videos which is why I stopped paramotoring uh, if you haven't seen that video, have a look here to the uh, to the link. But yeah, it just puts a grin, a grin on my face. Fly with Ben, fly with with anyone really at the end of the day, and sharing the sky, and that to me is a privilege. So the joy of this uh, sub 70 bivy event here at Darley Moor is it's actually brought a load more people here that, who who wouldn't normally be looking at this type of aircraft. And there's a gentleman next to me called Kevin who actually follows the channel. Thank you, Kevin. Who's actually no come problem. to Darley Moor to see what it's all about. So tell us a bit why you've actually come here. Yeah, well, I start, uh, I'm not new to flying actually. Um, did some glider flying back in 2013. Circumstances changed, so I had to finish with that. Um, so I start flying model aircraft. I've been flying that for what? Probably 22 years now. Um, got into jets. Uh, and then I had this urge to sort of start uh, looking at real flight. Yeah. Um, so I've just come here today to get an insight uh, into Sub 70. Um, you said you've actually, got, you've actually got some lessons booked, have you? Yeah, I've got some lessons booked. Can't wait to get up. Um, so hopefully once I get up there, I'll be buying one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. More, uh, more flex wing flyers in the world. That's all we yeah. need. Yeah. So, uh, so brilliant. Thanks for coming over, yeah, Kevin. No problem. Cheers, mate. Darley Moor, traffic, Golf, Foxtrot, Whiskey, Lima, Romeo, down rim, one way, one nine, Darley Moor. Okay, downwind checks, fuel, Ooh. Fuel is on and sufficient for a go away and awareness, there's one in the circuit, then it's clear of the active. Keep my height. Wind is light and down the runway. Just keeping avoiding these houses. Nose wheel steering is straight, hand throttle is closed, trim is fixed, and I am still secure. There you go, Kevin. I left in the checklist for you. Okay, centre line. Reset at 200 feet. Looking long.
and we're down. <laughs> Ian and Mike, they popped in earlier. So this concludes the sub-70 bivvy tour. So we weren't really able to tour very far other than the local area. The conditions weren't really conducive. Lots and lots of rain around. Um, and at times the, the winds were quite strong, which is why we ended up in the hangar. But it was in the hangar side, it was so great to meet so many people. Um, and thank you to Kevin and those that were, were, were happy to be interviewed. And Angela, it was great to meet you um, and hear about your journey. I mean, technically you're already flying a sub-70, but it's a paratrike and you want to go to the flexwing side. But it was great to hear your passion of why you wanted to go down the flexwing side. Again, it was great to chat to everybody in the hangar. Um, just understanding what they knew or didn't know about a sub-70 flying and the process of getting into it. And that seems to be a common theme that a lot of people don't really know how to get into um, sub-70 flex wing flying and say I have done some videos before I'll leave them in the description or some cards up around the top now um, if you want to go and uh, have a look at those if you haven't seen them already but that concludes the Bibby tour the Bibby rally here at Darley Moor so until next time everybody fly safe